Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cold Banker Dean Hop Realtors. Well, today in the community of Meyer Ranch in New Braunfels, Texas, kind of real close to Vintage Oaks if you're familiar with the area. And the reason I'm out here is Perry Homes is just opening up their model home. They did a little event for us, and we're going to have the Meyer Ranch community manager give us a little information about what's going on in the area. Let's go check it out. Seen me on the floor. I'm Erica Ramon. I'm the marketing director for Meyer Ranch and our development team out here, which the developer is Crown Community Development. So, first of all, welcome and thank you for taking time out of your day to come out here and join us. Um, <coughs> are very excited to have Perry Holmes joining our team out here and we have been out here in Meyer Ranch with our first home selling in 2019 and so here we are today. Um, this property is about 700 acres and full out build will be about 1600 homes. Um, to date we are about 500 plus homeowners into the project so a little almost halfway through the deal. Um, we are excited, like I said, to have Perry and some new builders joining our group, so please continue to stay up to date out here with who's coming in, as we do like to partner with some of the best builders in the area. Um, at this point in the project, uh, we do have a variety of amenities, which you're standing in one here today, which this is the community green in the hall, which is mimicked after Green Hall in downtown New Braunfels. So we're excited to feature some of those features throughout the community. We do have a pool, several playgrounds, three miles of trails, uh, dog park, splash pad, fitness center, and all of that is available for your buyers at $600 a year. That's the HOA due up here, $600 a year. Um, we are part of Comal ISD schools, so you get Bill Brown Elementary, Smithson Valley Middle, and Smithson Valley High School when clients buy out here with their children. So, great area. We love being part of the Hill Country out here, and especially when you drive through the community, you'll see that we do practice dark skies, so our street lights are only pertained to the main corridor road here, so that people can really enjoy those Hill Country nights. Are there any questions for me in terms of a development perspective, or just about the community in general out here? I see a question on your face, so do you have a question? <laughs> no, I was just, uh, just uh, thinking of, uh, as far as how big the property you mentioned was like 700 acres, right? Yes. So, um, and y'all should finish probably building all the community within like a couple of years? Or I would say we have about four more years left in here, depending on, of course, the market and absorption yes. of what is going on at the time. Of course, the market is dependent on how fast it's going to go. Um, one other thing that I will mention out here is we are one of the few properties in this particular location that does offer the smaller lot sizes. Perry mentioned that they're on the 55s, which we are excited for, which will be further back in the project here in their own section with green belts. Um, but we also have 45s, 50s, 55s, and 60 foot lineup out here. So a little bit different than our neighbors Vintage Oaks or Copper Ridge and those folks out here. Yes, Ryan. After your mud started at about 2.8, now is it sitting around 2.6? Yeah, so great question. We are at a 2.63 tax rate out here, so it has dropped. 0.9 of that is pertained to the mud district that's out here, which allows for folks to be able to be on a sewer system. Without that mud, a sewer system is not possible out here, and thus we would have to be acres or more on this particular property. Can you talk about the sewer system? Sure. So, sorry, I'm walking so that I can get a little closer here. I tend to walk while I'm talking. But, um, so we do have a wastewater treatment plant on site out here. And if anybody wants to drive by it, you can see it. But it will be down my apartment here. If you take a right on Frankie's Cove, you're going to dead end right into it. So basically, we have the district set up. They maintain everything in terms of our wastewater and how that's facilitated and everything. And then, of course, a big question is, is that our water as well? No, our water is through Canyon Lake water. So all of that is maintained through the district that we have out here. Um, I will say that that is a little bit of a learning curve for some of more, our more, more local buyers who are not as familiar with it. Um, of course, they're all over Austin, Houston, and a variety of other areas across Texas where really it's the fact that the infrastructure has not reached this far, and so therefore we as the developer are fronting those costs to put that infrastructure in. But we do have a team for any buyers that have 
in-depth questions or just want more understanding, we do have that information available on our website where you can talk to somebody from the district, really get an understanding, and then we arm our builder teams with a breakdown of kind of how those things work, as well as have that available on our website as well for your buyers. Any other questions? So the rate is can be a variable rate on the left, right? It's always variable. So it's always usually set, and typically in MUDs, usually it is set by the board and it stays at that rate for quite some time. Um, eventually it can go down. In my experience, that does take quite some time to do that. And when I say quite some time, I'm talking almost 20 years for that to happen. So it can go down. I always say prepare your buyers that it more than likely will not go down in the time span. But it can not go up. It, it, it typically does not go up. Um, I can only speak to this my district. I'm not going to speak on behalf of others across the state as each one is their own separate municipality. In this my district, the tax rate has not gone up for the mud specifically since we opened in 2019. I know some that's allow you to pay it up front. Do you guys allow that, or is it just the flat rates and that amount of time? So in my experience, I do know in kids that that has happened yeah. where you can pay up front. Um, like in the grove that Vintage Jumps, I know that they've had a kid where that can be paid up front, and I've worked in other kids where they do. I have not seen that typically in terms of the blood um, where you pay up front. It's usually on the portion of just your annual tax rate. And typically that's because with a kid, they normally will eliminate after your 30 year lifespan, whereas a mud doesn't always do that. So I personally have not seen that, but that's a great question that I would say if somebody is interested in that to talk to the district and talk to them. Sorry, I'm like walking really forward and everyone's back here. Any other questions for me? Yes. Will you keep the access off of, for, to get into the community off of uh, Crane's Mill Road? So we have a secondary entrance already built off of South Crane's Mill Road, which mimics the one up front here just without the windmill. That will stay there. So that's just part of the property at this point. We like to have two entrances to our property for safety concerns, fire department, things like that. Yes, ma'am. I don't know if it's related to y'all's neighborhood or maybe that's but it looked like a lot of trees got cleared off behind like your Greenbelt Park that's on Cranes Mill behind my ranch. Is that, are they expanding the road or what's? So part of that is cleanup efforts with tech stop okay. um, and that was part of a combination with them. So unfortunately, I don't have enough knowledge to give you an answer on that, but I know that was part of their efforts when we put all of that in over there. Well, I'll hang around for a little bit. If anyone has any other questions, please feel free to come up and ask me. But again, thank you for coming out today. We're very excited to have Perry in. It's been a long effort to get them in here, so we are excited that they're finally here. Thank you, guys. All right, well, I hope you found that informative. It was good to know that the mud tax in this community has gone down a little bit and some of the amenities, and I'm excited to see the growth of this community, especially now that Vintage Oaks has pretty much been sold out. All right. If you hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and of course, share these videos with friends and family. All right, take care now. Bye.